I'm Spencer Ortel. I am a vision engineer at Adaptech Solutions. Basically means I'm in charge of the 2D, 3D vision processes. Um, and a lot of this right now is testing that Kiant 3D camera um, to hopefully implement it on future jobs. So oh, it's pretty cool. It's a 3D bin picking system, um, which means basically all the parts just come in completely random. Uh, the really nice thing about this is it gets rid of one more step in that hard automation process, which would typically be full feeding or manually loading some type of conveyor. But the Keyence program that we're using is really good for uh, basically the troubleshooting aspect of it, getting the most amount of available picks out of the system. Um, we were able to take using the Keyence one, basically just that last 10% of products, getting them out of the bin. Whereas, uh, you know, in a matter of running three, four, five bins versus, you know, some other types of products where you'd have to run, you know, maybe 10, 20 bins and hope that you found all the issues. Uh, the Keyence also comes with a really cool uh, simulation program that you can use. Um, so you can know your bin picker is going to work before you even make the product. By adding the Keyence bin picking solution, we've actually improved our cycle time from 12 seconds to 9 seconds. Uh, and that was basically just by getting more successful pick rates um, you know, out of the bin. It takes basically uh, a very simple, easy setup process. Um, the Keyence is set up like a wizard where you just click through and it, it highlights in red, hey, this is wrong or you gotta do something here. So it's a very easy setup process in my opinion um, to go from, you know, you set it up, you kind of hit start and it just works, right? It's these lots of different, like I said, infinite possibilities of how these billets could be in this bin. Um, which now it's able to basically pick out this entire bin, which before you'd have to have either it's bin dumpers or, you know, like the bowl feeders or some type of operator loading them onto a conveyor. It gets rid of, you know, that last little chunk there, which really, uh, you know, basically automates, you know, that last little bit of process that we're looking to automate. The key inside the Fanuc actually is a really good pairing. A, Keyence uh, is very easily integrated with Fanuc as well as Fanuc is able to take all that data from the Keyence really well um, and go to basically the, the points that the Keyence is giving, it's giving it very accurate points that it needs to go to. The Fanuc is able to make those accurate movements. Sometimes it's, you know, five or six different movements to try and get some bill that's still it that's stuck up, stuck under somewhere. Um, but it's able to make those movements in that, you know, nine and a half second cycle time that we were able to do uh, you know, if it were another type of robot, I don't know if we'd be able to A, be that robust, um, you know, B, be that fast, or C, be that accurate uh, if we were going with, you know, some other type of robot pairing.